Welcome back. Now then, so what I'm going to show you is um, my technique for painting cavalry. So I've got these built. So these are uh, the French cavalry, this one. So I did my British Union Brigade. Uh, the horses were all white. Um, these are going to be a mixture. So I'm going to use browns and blacks. Um, and for that, I'm going to be using my airbrush. Now, I'm not the greatest airbrush uh person in the world there's a lot more people out there that are better at it than me on YouTube go and find them um, some fantastic guys out there doing some stuff so for the skill level that I've got this kind of stuff horses perfect okay um, low level skill really simple you can uh, paint these really quick so that's what I'm going to do so browns and blacks and um, I'm going to airbrush these over. Now with an airbrush, um, a lot of people say uh, you should have a, a little ventilation system. I'm up here in my loft, I've got a couple of great big windows. They're always open um, when I'm doing anything like this. So I've got lots of fresh air. Um, all I use really is something just to cover up my stuff to make sure there's no overspill or anything like that going over any of, uh, any of my gear. Okay, so my first colour, this is going to be flat brown, which is quite a dark brown. This is a Vallejo colour. So, <clears throat> just um, put a little drop in your airbrush. And then, there we go. I'm going to use a little drop of uh, Flow Medium in there as well, just to help that through the airbrush. Um, you can use water, you haven't got to use Flow Medium. And then take your model. So because um, we're going to do this, <clears throat> I'm just going to hit it um, at the bottom all over really. Just trying to keep um, on the horse rather than the saddle. But there's going to be overspill so don't worry too much. Um, just keep it light and gentle. Keep it going. And then uh, you should have decent results. So let's just have a little go. Um, the airbrush that the might kick in. So uh, it might be a little bit noisy, but we'll see how we go. So And the thing with like most airbrushes, you know, you get good coverage um, and you get nice smooth paint. So like I say, it's perfect for horses and that type of stuff. You know, vehicles, if you're doing bolt action stuff, tanks and vehicles. Uh, you can get some really, really nice results. So there we go. Look, that's one done already. So it's all brown all over. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple more. And then I'll show you the next bit. Okay, so I've done six in that flat brown. And then what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of uh, white in here. Just give that a little mix. Make that a little bit lighter. So all we're going to do is just make a little bit of variance in the horse colour and uh, just go on now with the new colour. Um, if you don't like it, if it's too light, too dark, um, just you know, don't worry at this stage. We're just getting our first colour on. And uh, we'll move on once we've done a couple more. Okay, so we've done some brown. They've got some brown left in here. So all I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of black to this. Not a lot. A couple of little dobs of black. Uh, that takes us right down to a dark brown. And again, I've put a little bit of thinners in there. And I'm going to do the last two horses. So I'm going to start just doing these um, a darker colour. Show you the colours that we've got so far. So it doesn't take long to get these done. Okay. Right, so we have got... That's the darker one. And that's the lighter one. Hope you can see that. Little variants. Um, yeah, so they look good. So, now we've done that. All I'm going to do now is... Now I've got this darker brown. I'm going to go down um, and just hit the bottoms of the horse okay so just uh, just down the bottom of the horse and right on cue the colors run out okay I'm gonna refill and we'll do a little bit more okay so the brush reloaded um, 
Now, all I'm going to do is go round, hit the bottom of this horse, uh, just, just round underneath, just not too heavy because these aren't dry properly yet, so you're not going on top of uh, dry paint, you're going on top of wet paint, so just, just nice and easy with it, and then just bring out this second colour around the base, and that's going to give you a really nice sort of tone between the colours of the horse I'm just doing the legs just quickly you can see how quick this goes round with the airbrush Okay, so I've mixed up um, some lighter brown now. I've gone in with a flat earth uh, with a little bit of the uh, flat brown. So it's a lot lighter now. And all I'm gonna do is go on for a highlight. So um, again, all I'm gonna do is come from the top down, um, hit, hit his rump. So that's sort of the highlight on, on the horse, um, his head, and a little bit maybe on his mane, either side of his neck. Um, just not too heavy. Um, there we go, take a little bit of practice just to get that going and uh, hopefully you can see there we've already got some nice highlights going on with the shadow underneath of the darker colour. So um, I'm going to do a few more. Okay and then last of all um, I'm going to hit one or two with um, a, a, a cream, an ivory, just on their feet, just to bring out that colour. Okay, so hopefully you can see that where it's all splattered all up the legs. So um, I'm going to go back in and just hit the uh, clean up with uh, some brown. So back with the flat brown again. Um, and just, and just, just basically clean up the, the overspill, the mess. Bring back to the shading that you want. There we go. So just clean that up. Around we go. Plenty of shading back on it again. So that's uh, the airbrush side of it. So um, I'm going to let them dry now and then we can carry on. Okay, so I've got my horse. All I'm going to do now is give him a quick wash over. And I use the uh, Army Painter. This is uh, mid tone, mid brown. So I'm just going to give him a quick wash with, uh, with this just to pick up. A little bit of detail, um, dark spots around all the reins and all that type of stuff on the horse. So, uh, yep, yeah, so just going to stick that on like that <clears throat> and then let that dry. Okay, so uh, next up on our horse, um, we've got him shaded, uh, that's dry now. So we've got a couple of highlights going on with the airbrush and the dark tone of the uh, brown that we've done. So I've been playing with a couple of white bits on it, on his hooves down here on his legs. Um, I'm going to see how they come out, whether I like them or not. But I was just playing really why I had the white out just to do a little bit of that. And if I decide to do that, I'll show you to them in a minute. But next up I'm going to do his saddle. So his saddle, I'm going to use ivory again. I don't want it to... Uh, some kind of sheepskin I think so I'm just going to go in uh, with the ivory <clears throat> and um, just get this painted in now around around the outside of this sheepskin there is a detail um, on these guys I'm going to do it yellow so I'm just going to go over this is probably going to want a couple of coats on this to go over this brown and again, I've watered this uh, ivory down. So we just go around, pick up some of this sheepskin around here. So I'm just using a little bit of a bigger brush to get some coverage on. And then I'll swap out, <clears throat> go to a smaller brush just to do this detail. So just going to go around, get all this done. I'm going to do that. And then... Um, I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I've got the bulk of it done. 
<clears throat> just swap out now to a more detailed brush <clears throat> like I say there's a little detail on these models that goes all the way around the, the, the sheepskin or the whatever it is um, and it's a little sort of triangly spiky pattern that goes all the way around the outside I'm just going to try and pick as much of that up as I can now using the smaller brush just go round um, you don't really want to be going over the brown that you've done the horse skin but if you do it, you can go back over with maybe just a little touch of brown or even just the shade again just to kill this off and bring it back up so I'm going to go round and pick as much of these little spiky bits as I can up and uh, I'll show you the result okay so we've been right round picked up as much of the detail as I can uh, now on the horses that I've got one side of the detail this side is not so pronounced um, and it's lost a couple of little bits of the indents so I've just put in little triangles as much as I can um, to pick up some detail uh, this side was a lot better mould so this side was a lot better moulded all the way around you could see the detail a lot better but there we go this you know the plastic sculpts you get what you get um, so I'm going to let that dry okay so we're back with our cavalry um, he's all well he's pretty much dry now so what I'm going to do is uh, put on some yellow detail all around these little spikes and um, I can show you how I'm going to do that so I've got um, Citadel paint for this one uh, which is the flash gets yellow which is the bright yellow so uh, again just go on with a detail brush so this, I've not made this too runny this paint because I just want it to, to stay where I put it and um, all I'm going to do is just go round uh, the spikes on the bottom of this saddle so just go as close as you can doesn't matter if you go too far up on the saddle because we're going to go back over in a little while with some more ivory we're just going to go round and pick up all the little detail on the edge there okay hopefully you can see that um, just all sort of just around here just off just feather it in just nice and easy just go around pick up as much detail as you can so I'm going to do the rest of that and I'll show you what comes out right okay so we've gone right round now um, right round the horse or, or, or the saddle with the yellow trim we're going to let that dry and then um, we'll finish off the saddle I'm going to put this black line in here now as well so I'm just going to put a black line in there both sides for a bit of detail and then I can show you that just cleaning that up when I do the saddle the black line on the saddle it's not the best black line in the world it's a little bit shaky in places but um, once it's dry I'm now going to go back over with the ivory and uh, clean all that up give that a second coat and bring that right up so I'm going to do that okay so now um, our cavalry is dry we're going to go in and we're going to clean up all this black line that's in here and give the, give the uh, ivory another coat as well just to clean all that up right so while I've still got some ivory uh, out I'm just going to uh, go around and I'll show you how I did the legs so just a little bit on it's watered down a little bit a bit of thinners in that paint there in the white just go in and I'm going to go um, brush strokes downwards just to try and get some different heights on his leg um, like this just go round nice and easy you don't want it even you don't want like a square line around his leg and then you can see roughly what you want to do with it or uh, it's coming out 
and uh, you know some higher some lower so I sort of start off doing the lower bit first and then gradually work my way up and find a pattern that you like there we go Then once you've uh, got the leg going right, oh there we go, they're all done. All the four legs, I think they look quite effective really on this dark brown. So uh, yeah, so they come out really nice. So, there's not much left to do on this horse now. So uh, I think the next step is to do all the reins. Um, I, again, I use my uh, dark grey for all the the bridal work so um, that's next I'll start that and I'll show you how to get on alright so the dark grey going to do all the uh, leather with this and um, there's not that much to do so take your time going round and um, it doesn't take too long to pick this up Okay, so uh, now we're pretty much there, so I'm going to put the uh, aluminium on his bridle. And uh, like I say, it's, it's lovely paint this. goes on really, really nice. If you've not used it before, get yourself some. It is absolutely lovely. Right, so I'm just going to put a little bit here, here, and then a couple of little dobs here. And a little circle around his bridle, and down there. Okay, so I hope you can see the uh, silver, how that comes out. It's really nice. And uh, that just leaves us the last little bit on this. I think um, is the pack on the back of the on the back of the horse, and then a little bit maybe dry brushing or a little bit of. Um, extra highlighting for his tail and his mane so um, I'll sort some paints out and we'll move on okay so we've all caught up um, all I've got to do now is I'm going to paint the uh, knapsack or whatever that is the, his bedroll on the back of the horse I'm going to paint that green um, as far as I can tell the closest colour that, um, that I can get to what it is, it is I'm going to use the Army Painter Goblin Green. It's quite nice, it's nice and bright. So um, I'm going to go with that. It's uh, just put it on. We're going to need a couple of coats here. So uh, I'm just going to put the first coat on. And then we're going to have to go over. But there's a little bit more detailing to go on this as well. So I think there's actually some yellow piping to go around here. So... Just get this green on, get the first coat of green. We may have to go on with some white to make this yellow stand out. Uh, uh, first of all, just let's get this green done on his back, on the pack of this horse. And then we can move on because we are nearly, nearly, nearly finished. Right, so I'm going to finish painting this green on here, and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so that's uh, all the green done on his uh, little backpack there. I've finished off with a little white trim around it, and uh, really pleased with how they come out. So they come out really, really well. So all the horses are now done. Um, yeah, really pleased. I'm really liking the uh, the white bits around the legs. So um, they're really they really come out nice. Uh, pleased with all the silver. Uh, this one's got a little bit of detail on his nose as well, which was nice. So that came out really well. So um, that's how I do my brown horses um, for the French. Um, all I've got to do now is just base these up, finish painting um, the troops. Um, I've got one of the chasseurs done. 
So there he is, all mounted, and um, really pleased with it. So that's uh, you know it looks really good on there. Some nice bright colours. The green's nice. Bit of highlighting going on as well. So really come out well. Really pleased with those, and they go nice with the army. So there you go, they're the French sachets. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, me painting um, the horses um, and the cavalry. So they come out really well, really pretty. It's a nice project. Not too many of them to take on all in one go either. It's not like a big French column where you've got sort of 20, 30 figures to paint. The cavalry, I've really enjoyed painting the cavalry. Um, you know, you get 12, 12, 12 guys. I know you've got the horses as well, but um, really nice project to do. The airbrush makes everything really simple with the horses i think um a little bit of highlighting if you want to go down that route as well um, i didn't highlight these up i just used my airbrush with um with the lighter colors on top darker tones on the bottom and i was really really pleased with how they come out so um happy with that so i've got lots and lots more to do so um stay tuned make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, also give me a big thumbs up for if you like what i'm doing um so I've got the rest of them to make up. There's loads to do, loads, loads to do. I've got lots here to do. And also um, I'm going to start, hopefully in the next day or so, I'm going to start recording some stuff for the terrain table as well, for the La Haye farm. Um, that's coming along. The farm's built. Um, so I'm just sort of laying out where I want to put the farm in the in relation to the whole board. It looks like it's going to have to go slap bang in the middle. Um, so keep an eye out for that and um, I'll post some pictures and I'll post some other stuff coming up a bit later on. So thanks for watching again and uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>